Hey folks, B Shaw here with a detailed tutorial on how to flash your Nokia 5000 series phone with the Symbian Anna operating system. Well, actually, I myself flashed my phone last night. I showed it to my friend today, uh, and he asked me if I could just record a video on how to do it. So I thought I should do it. Right. So I'm here to flash my phone again. So let's get to work. First thing, plug in your phone with the USB connection. Here we got that. Alright, oh, okay. Now turn off your phone. Turn off your phone. Let me do it. I've switched out my phone. Now, first of all, you have to check the software your phone have right now here I have written some uh, phone models uh, with the latest software upgrades like I have the 5800 Express Music and the latest update its latest update is uh, version 60.0.003 just like the others first thing you have to do is to google saying symbian version 60.0.003 for example or say symbian version 32.0.007 right search for the for the good file I mean there are many files but most of them are corrupt or, or maybe not present by now just search for a good file from a good file sharing host you know then uh, install it well you'll get the extract extraction RAR file extract it and you will have the application like this I have the Nokia 1500 XM um, blah blah alright so it will be application it will be a application just install it you do it don't worry if it's if it's in another language I think it's Russian with me right now just install it anyway I can understand how to proceed with this language you know okay it's installing and make sure you turn off your security essentials or the antivirus you have on your PC before doing this finish it close it now go to your the windows drive in which you have installed your windows the boot drive go to the program files excuse me <coughs> sorry uh, you will have the Nokia folder in the program files open it you will have the phonex folder the newly created and the products in it and the RM356 RM356 is actually the firmware of my phone here we have the files for the latest software which I uh, downloaded last night for my 5800 it is the 
Symbian version 60.0.003 you just install it you don't have to install it in your phone or flash and just install it for the time being next step next step you have to do is to download the Symbian Anna for Nokia whatever mobile you have just google Symbian Anna for Nokia 5800 or 5530 or 5230 etc etc just google it and search for a good file again uh, this file may be like uh, uh, 90 to 100 MB in size maybe more than that uh, but most likely it's going to be like uh, 94 to 95 uh, uh, of MB so just uh, download it I'll show you what I've got here I've got this the RER file I've got the uh, Symbian Anna version 7.5 rm make sure you get the file exactly of your own firmware like I have the firmware 356 you can check it on your phone by dialing the star hash triple zero hash you'll get the firmware and the software version you have there right now just extract it you'll have this folder and uh, rm356 note this this folder is ex exactly the same as we had in the program files i had in the your maybe a change name in the program files and this as well because it's the 356 rm and 356 rm only comes in 1500 so if you are using uh, 5230 it may be like 428 like this just open it and there will be a few files maybe like 5 6 7 files just select them all copy and go to your program files in the same Nokia folder phonics products RM356 where you already have that version Mm, so the, the latest version of your software just paste it right here it will ask you to copy and replace it to so do it for all the files and copy and replace continue okay those files which you downloaded uh, which you had from the ANA folder are now replacing the actual files from the latest software version you downloaded in the first app I think you get it I hope you get it you see these files were uh, replaced now the third step you got to do is to install download and install the JAF software JAF software. JAF software is a flash software which is used to flash a phone. Actually, flashing is the process uh, in which uh, in which even a dead phone can be, uh, I mean, regenerated or or can you say we can give it uh, a new birth? You say you must have seen. Uh, shopkeeper saying uh, oh man your de your phone is dead now it can be sold for more than 2000 3000 rupees so just sell it to me uh, for some price for some less price uh, we'll do like that but the flash software the GF software can uh, bring back the OS in your phone actually when the phone is assembled in the industry in the factory the first 
process which is done to uh, install the software in that phone is called flashing so here we are doing we are dealing with the flashing so install download install the JF software I will provide the, this uh, link installation link uh, the download link sorry in the description and just download it you'll get the jar file this file extract it you'll get the uh, JF version 1.98.62 from Nokia hacks click it open here you have the application click it and install it well I already have it I'll do it again oh first it had to uninstall ok now I'm going to install it uh, it's, it asks for you uh, you have a different version of Nokia Cabal, just click it no. Saying main failure, don't worry. Okay, close. Okay, now go to your. No, don't go anywhere. Just check out this file. Copy it and go to your program files you'll have a new folder saying ODEON click open it there will be the JF software open it and you'll have its uh, all the stuff in here just paste that uh, the that little application continue actually this is the JAF emulator key which actually allows the JAF software to run it's just like a crack or something go back there now right click it send it to desktop to create shortcut just like that now you have to click on the properties properties click on compatibility mode check the run this program in compatibility mode for uh, windows xp subject 3 service pack 3 sorry and check the run this program as an administrator check these two and leave others unchecked apply ok or whatever you like now you have to do is to double click it and allow it to run and just press go don't do anything else don't play with these options there's an error box driver not install don't worry just go ahead here you have the JF, JF software click on the second option that's BBF BBF click it you will have few options right here so here we have to do what we have to do ok just click the manual flash the dead USB uncheck this CRT308 uncheck this and check the use, use INI option when you check this you will have a pop up window say select your phone model so carefully select your phone model uh, keeping in view your firmware so I have the Nokia 5800 from your 356 I think you're getting it uh, step by step I think you're getting it ok click ok choose carefully alright click ok you see these three LED <laughs> lights in here and here's something it has set up for you already actually this flash software is uh, there he has sorry it has uh, a 
uploaded the files which you copied from the ANA folder to your program file Phonix folder it has already uploaded it and now the last step you have to do is to don't touch any of these options don't try to change these just click flash I would like to see this alright hold your phone in your hand click flash it will say some error blah, 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 blah. just click yes searching a phone tap on your power on button and here it goes it's the flashing guys right now my phone is flashing you see the flashing process right here if you're wondering this wonderful song in the background it's Take It Back by Pink Floyd and the album is The Division Bell you might like to listen to it So here it says finishing CMT session, restarting CMT, pulling phone. Pulling phones means it's transferring the data. And here you uh, hear this ding 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 bell and it says done. Congrats guys, you have flashed your phone with the new Anna software or uh, the operating system, whatever you say. Well, I'm very happy because I just flashed it, flashed my phone for the second time in the second night. All right, you now have to, you can now close this, close everything, remove your phone from PC or unplug it. Just pull off your USB cable like that. Don't worry if your phone is saying local mode Nokia or something like that or saying like Anna or something like that and it won't be your phone won't be responding even if you are trying to uh, uh, put off your put on switch on switch off your phone and the button any of your uh, phone button won't respond just pull off your back cover remove the battery I've done it remove the battery hold the battery for three seconds in your hand make a spell insert the battery again put the cover back let me do it done put on your phone say bismillah rahman rahim and here we go white screen appears listen to the nice song I have and my phone says Nokia with the black background and Nokia written on it with white so I think I have a successful flashing And now it's asked for my pin code and I think I haven't lost my phone again. So guys this was the detailed process of how to flash a phone. Oh sorry actually it's the signals which I'm getting right now after switching on my phone. So guys hope this helps you I hope for a for a good feedback you know thanks for watching anyway
thanks for watching take care and bye for now bye bye we shall next time